Hello, meet Mr. Liver. Nice guy, isn't he? Mr. Liver consists of eight segments. They are two lateral segments in the left lobe. One is superior and the other is inferior. Segment number four consists of two subsegments. One is called medial superior and the other is called medial inferior. Two anterior segments, one of them is superior and the other is inferior. Two posterior segments, one is superior and the other is inferior. You can notice the segments are arranged in a clockwise manner. But the question is, where is the first segment? Oh, here it is. It is the caudate lobe. What a cunning lobe. It is hidden in the back of the liver. This is a rotating liver from all its views. This is the anterior view. Now the liver is slightly rotated to show this view. Now it is rotated more and more to show the inferior view. In this view, segment number 8 is not apparent, because as we know, it is in the anterior and superior parts of the liver, which doesn't appear. This is the post row inferior view, and also segment 8 is not apparent. Segments are arranged in a counterclockwise manner. This is the posterior view, where the bare area of the liver lies. The liver is rotated more and more. Finally, this is the superior view. There is something to notice about the two main lobes of the liver. If we cut a section in the right lobe and observe it from a side view, we will find that it has four surfaces. But the left lobe has only three. There is one thing to notice about the left lobe. If we divide it into segments and then insert it into the human body and looked at it from the CT view, we will find that both segments are apparent in one CT level, where segment 2 becomes under segment 3. However, the CT will be discussed in the next scene. Now, how could we see the CT? The liver is located like this in the human body, but it is slightly tilted outwards. We see CT from this direction. Cut the liver at this level. Rotate it, then have a look at it from the CT view. Notice the liver segments, especially segments 7 and 8. Cut the liver at a more inferior position. Rotate it, then have a look at it from the CT view. Notice the liver segments, especially 5 and 6. Thank you for watching.